Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're running an Intel-based system, just to let you know that Intel now has released new Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers that officially support Windows 11 version 25H2, which is this year's annual feature update for Windows 11. Now, if we head over to the Wi-Fi driver, that's 24.0.2, which is the latest. And here's the download link for both Windows 10 and Windows 11. And if we head over to the Bluetooth driver, that's version 24.0.1, which is now the latest. And it's important to note, just heading back to the Wi-Fi driver, that the Wi-Fi driver is now compatible with Intel's next generation Wi-Fi 7 lineup. But just take note though that you need to be running Windows 11 24H2 or newer to be able to use Wi-Fi 7. And if we click on the release notes, here we can see Wi-Fi drivers version 2402 have been validated to support Microsoft Windows 11 25H2. And if we do the same with the Bluetooth driver, yeah, we can see Intel wireless Bluetooth 2401 driver supports the latest Microsoft Windows 11 25H2. Now, the reason I'm mentioning 25H2 is because Microsoft recently announced that Windows 11 25H2 is now available to all eligible devices who have the get the latest updates as soon as they are available toggle turned on on your Windows update page, which I posted on. I'll leave the video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, the reason I'm saying that these updates for the drivers are important is because they now carry support for 25H2, which means prior to these drivers rolling out, you would have had a compatibility hold on your system where Microsoft had a safeguard hold, which means you weren't being offered 25H2 through Windows Update. But now if you had a compatibility hold on your system because of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth drivers for Intel, installing these latest drivers now, means there's a very strong possibility that Microsoft will lift the safeguard hold on your device, which means your system then will become eligible to upgrade to Windows 11 version 25H2 through Windows Update, which is the best way to do it because that means that there will be no compatibility holds or safeguard holds on your device if you get the update offered through Windows Update. So basically, these new drivers are ensuring that compatibility in case you were unaware. So that's why I'm posting a video just to let you guys know. And both of these download links I'll leave in the description if you'd like to get your hands on these drivers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.